Game resumed. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nova War. And Maximus Black. And we are bringing you Will Cheese Fail Season 9 Episode 7 The Season of Great Pancakes. Bows. Up here, before we start, actually, I forgot, Mr. Maximus Black. Yeah. Hit me up with the sound of. Whatever you want from the Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm trying to think of something other than Farouche. Well, I mean, if you have to bring that back, go ahead. Sure. Farouche! Never get it old. No, it doesn't. Old. No, never no, get it old. Doesn't. You know what would be even better? Bring that back and, and throw in the claps for me. No, no. No? You know, can't, no. can't do that? No, that Can't has do to that be today? spared once in a while. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that, all right. Yeah. That's going to be saved. It's going to be it's, it's going to be, be one of those things you just can't you can't run into the ground. Have you been working on your your impersonation of Bane? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I just want to check, gotta check in. My vein. I got to check in, check in somebody, every now and then. Somebody tried to get me to do like 10 minutes of practicing on my stream the other day. They're like <laughs> they're like, "All right, dude, you're going on tilt. What you need to do right now is just, just take 10 minutes and work on your bane. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it made me smile. So I was like, you know That's what? That's really right. funny. That's yeah. great. That's absolutely incredible. Well, right now it looks like we have a little bit of a forward ejection. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to give these guys um, five seconds to show me cheese that isn't just this Protoss denying this hatchery. I'm going to go on a limb and say uh, this is going to be the considered cheese unless... He continues with it, and he like starts building cannons like all towards. Do you get to see my pings? Yes. Sweet. Unless he keeps building uh, cannons keeps all going over forward, here, forward and down. Yeah. 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 I didn't know we could we could do the the pingy thing. That's that's quite good. But this is uh this is, is just a regular ass deny. I mean, whenever a zerg is being greedy like this, you just go ahead and, and shut it down. It's relatively annoying. Oh, I just wanted to try. I still think it's dumb that you have to press Alt and G for that shit. It's just... It's, why? They couldn't yeah. come up with a better thing than Alt-G? Well, G is the What upgrades. about just Alt-Right-Click? Like, that would have made perfectly yeah, good sense. does make sense, actually. Yeah. Oh, huh. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, hey, look. There's the cancel. So I'm there sure it goes. you can probably change the hockey yourself. Yeah, probably. But, I mean, yeah. really. Yeah, I know. Come on. Blizzard makes me question things sometimes. So. Yeah, every now and then. Does they do? Has this ever make you question your sexuality, though? Um, I can't say no. I can't say it really hasn't. Oh, okay, hallelujah! Sam is saving us. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Is, is Sam going to save us with um, with a swarm host? Are we gonna have Probably. another one of these games? Probably. If I had to guess, and I mean, why not? Because you get shut down, you cancel, which is the appropriate move here. Why not turn it around into, you already had the drone down there, why not turn it around into a bit of a swarm host thing? Sure, why not? I mean, most people would just go down and take your third, but why not use OP swarm hosts? Because that's a thing too. So, in case you guys um, haven't been told this before, I'm sure I've mentioned it in a previous cast, but in case there's some new people or you just forgot, when you're denying a Zerg's hatchery like that, and he's not bringing down any drones whatsoever. Just get the one cannon until that hatchery has a thousand HP. Once the hatchery has a thousand HP and it's continuous and it's still, you know, uh, being produced, then you chuck down the second cannon because that way, but if he cancels last second, that second cannon you can still cancel in time. This guy just chucked down two cannons because he was just panicking and he wanted to have something that would protect the the first cannon to its mm -hmm. right. And then he built but all you need one. to do, yeah, but all you need to do is just wait. And if he's bringing drones, then chuck down your other cannon or even another pylon, and, and only get that second pylon or second cannon when that hatch is at a thousand plus HP. That way you can get a cancel and not waste, you know, a hundred and I think thirty three or thirty seven minerals that you get back from. The cancel or so no mothership core yet uh for weinberg out on the field is, mothership core is, no not yet he is uh, that's not, pretty standard though i mean against that Earth, i don't get i don't get my mothership core out early anyway unless i figure he is doing something cheesy which 
Weinberg should think that because he already sees his no third uh, no at third that third here. anyway it could potentially yeah it could still potentially go here yeah but i would, I would be checking both of those just to make sure mm. um so yeah you're right uh, um his his mothership core is late considering but typically uh you in my force fast expands i don't really need it that quick no. i'd rather put my gas towards something like an upgrade or something like that yeah. well and now, he sees, scout. now he sees the pain and now he's really? experiencing the pain uh and we now have three of them out Hmm? Man, the range on those is something else, isn't it? It is something else. I think else. it's salt on the wound, though, for me. The salt on the wound is the fact that the units that they produce, the, the locusts, are also kind of ranged to an extent. Mm. Like, their, their range is like, what? Is their range like one or something? That was three. So they're even ranged units on top of having an epic range to begin with. Yeah, um, uh, swarm host. We, I mean, I'm not going to go into the whole swarm host thing again because we've done it before. Oh, you'll witness uh, it here. And, and fact, yeah, and you're gonna you're gonna see it all over again. I, I, how do I feel about these cannons up top here? Eh, not. I'm not a big fan of them. I think that's minerals and resources that could have been put uh, to maybe use one. elsewhere. Maybe maybe one. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I think that those cannons are probably better off down where the other three cannons are to buy as much time as humanly possible. But what I like about this for Weinberg is the fact that he still has those two cannons and two pylons up at the natural. Yes. So he's actually going to be able to warp in up there right now. and stop this pressure. Yep. And that's going to make last, this entire game. Last game, I don't, I, I don't remember if it was an inbox or a, or a normal game that we casted last week that was very similar to this, where it was the swarm hosts. But this is what we were talking about, what kind of needs to be able to happen, is you need to be able to get a pylon up there to distract the Zerg in some way. Yep. You need to run a distraction, otherwise you're going to get overrun and it's going to be become a bigger and bigger problem until you really just can't deal with it. That's right. Um, and I mean, they'll keep building the damn things until... Uh, I saw a thread actually earlier on our website, believe it or not, discussing that, you know, how many is enough before you need to stop. And somebody actually had like a freaking Encyclopedia Britannica of like math equations that says and reinforces the idea that somebody just came up with just by playing the damn game that it's about 16. Between 12 and 16 is like the magic number of, of swarm hosts and as soon as you hit that you don't really need to build anymore and you're going to be able to do things like stop Colossus or Colossi I should say, so on and so forth. Um, and so that warp in though, mm. insanely important. That first go around he only managed to get rid of I think maybe one spine crawler. I don't know if he got rid of two. Uh, the Zerg is replacing with two more, yeah, so he's going to be prepared for another round if uh, if it does happen. The attack was bad. He needed to really commit up there. He needed to go in with like eight zealots and then just shut this all down. But now he's behind, and this is where it's going to become extremely difficult for the Protoss to come back into this game. All the cannons, except for the pretty much pointless ones that are on the high ground, um, are really not doing. He doesn't have anything to 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 stop this. He is getting Colossus out now, but we've discussed this in the last game. These are just going to be... An, it's going to be non-stop. No, non it's, it's going to be never-ending. He's got a very steep hill to climb. Um, and at this point, I mean, you have to think of it like we said before. Zealots aren't going to do anything here for you. So forget about building Zealots. It's just not going not gonna to win you a game with the Zealots. Um, if you have the gas and the resources, avoid Ray isn't a terrible decision. Yeah, um, as, you know the only th and and I do I do agree. I mean I I like to get void rays. I like to get DTs and stuff. But what the problem is is these damn spore crawlers that yes, are here. Yes, they also get placed. And, yeah, yeah, and it's the queens. Like these queen, these two queens are probably like the most important units here besides the swarm host because the transfuses, transfuses yeah. are just going to be huge. You're going to need like four void ray to even shut down one spore crawler at this point. And I mean, because he's kind of lucky that he only has two queens. I've, we've, we've seen games, oh, and man. I've watched them where they have like six, eight queens. Whoa, up in the base here, it looks like we've had two warp cycles of zealots and stalkers oh, managing to do go. a little bit of damage. And if he stays up in behind the mineral line here, those, sp those spine crawlers are not going to be able to attack. But no, he's going to put the zealots in at the spine crawlers. Uh, I don't agree with this. I don't think he's paying attention back home right now, and that's going to hurt him a oh, bit. Oh, man. Look at that. He just lost all those units for no reason. If he would have just sat in behind that mineral line and just forced the, all those drones to be pulled or die, uh, he would have been in a much, much better position. And now look at this. More lings are popping out here. 
The two spine crawlers are still alive, and that natural is going down. The robo is going to fall as well. No colossus left on the field, and this no. is just a slow, slow death. More spine crawlers down at the natural as well. One base zerg here at the swarm host. Just so so tough to uh, to deal with, and it looks like it's this is going to be a GG here. I mean, it may drag on for a little while, but unless he he comes up with something really really, he needs a, he needs what we know, like to know. call a Jesus maneuver. He needs to be able to walk on water here. Uh, All these zealots up at the these it. zealots up at the main. He did another. Uh, Oh, he a did another, big warp cycle. cycle, and that was enough. There's no spine cars left. There's no queen left. He's going after the infestation pit. That's big. Mr. Max is black. Big. Are we witnessing the Jesus maneuver that he so desperately needed? I don't know why there isn't a swarm host in this base. That would be really useful. Well, that would have been GG. And here comes another wave of zealots, and you know what? We may have found our answer. Sam getting uh, extremely complacent in this matchup. Really not giving a shit about his main and not building any uh, swarm hosts in here. And now he's going to lose the whole thing. He's building a uh, uh, another base down on the bottom left. And these swarm hosts, these locusts, are working their way in. He's going to focus all that Artosis pile on. If he gets that Artosis, oh, no. all those gates are going to go down. Oh, that Artosis pile on. But they're focusing on the units right now. He's not actually going after that pile on. He loses that sentry really quickly. And he's actually going to be able to continue to warp in from there, and that's... Oh, there you go. Now he's going after that Artosis that's going down. The Protoss quickly try to put down two more. Nice force fields! Yeah, nice, but it's not enough. Oh. It still goes down. Uh, the Mothership core is out here just tickling these uh, Locusts to death, but uh, as long as he keeps this uh, creep spread going and brings the Queens over, he's going to be totally fine here. Um, wow. So I got, got the two Stargates. He's going to start uh, double-pumping Void Rays. He's only really going to be able to get... You know, one, maybe two at a time at the beginning, but then only one at a time after that, just because he has a little bit of a bank. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be it. He does have a bunch of zealots on the way down, where he still has one observer. I I still don't see Wine winning this. I still don't see it. Well, I mean, I don't. I can't say I blame you. I'm, I would be on the same board. We have right now out on the field, we have, what, 11 I want to double check that 11 yeah 11 swarm hosts out on the field right now that's that's a pretty that's a pretty large number to have to deal with especially especially since he can't even get anywhere near the damn things to begin with no nope. um and right now he's really just huddled up and he's he's got all of his cards banking on these void rays and he even has to still be careful with these void rays because there are spore crawlers there are still the two queens and two yep. two void rays while good don't necessarily ensure that he's going to be able to kill all that right away. And look at this. Queen's immediately getting off some free hits, getting rid of some shields. Uh, and, and I, I don't know. He's got, he's got enough to keep building the Void Ray. He's got one more. What, one more in him? Uh, yeah. What yes, he's got yeah. enough. He's got enough for one more Void Ray after that, but that's it. I mean... Oh, we see it, the Zealots actually moving down. They're going to go for this, uh, this base. They're going to find it, too. Now, and here's the Queen's. And he's going to back off here. Let the locusts keep doing their uh, keep doing their work. Queen's getting a little ballsy there. That's you know two void rays in the mothership core. He needs to watch out. Does not want to waste those uh, those queens. I mean those queens are going to That's win him the game. Yeah. yeah. And now oh, he's with the queens out of position, up. he's going to move out with these void rays uh, and just try and get rid of this hatchery. Uh, you know not not the not the most important pickoff, but anything that he can do right now. Well, I think at this point, it's going to be a matter of picking off the structures and Just not... Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Uh-oh! Is he going to... No, there's the transfuse. He's not going to be able to run that queen because of that time warp. There's another transfuse, and one spore crawler goes down, and another one goes down as well. And those queens, man, the transfuse right are just so good. The square one. Yeah, and he look at that. Close. The locusts are still going in one by one by one. And and it's just going to be... Event it's up. eventually... It's all going to die. Oh, the Zealots got rid of that bottom base that the Zerg had, and now they're going to come up and help. Uh, right now, all that he can do is really, he's got to get those Zealots in there, and I guess all he can do with the Zealots is try and get rid of the Queens, or get rid of the Spore Crawlers, or both. Yep. yep. And then as soon you, as he you gets can't that, kill, Yeah, you can't kill the Swarm Host, you're right. You have to get rid of those Queens and, and the Spore Crawlers. He's actually going to risk his Void Ray right now going in here, but the Queen just transfusing that twice now. He's going to be careful, he doesn't want to lose that. Oh, he gets oh. it out. God. He's still going for it. No, he's going to get no, out of no, here. Oh, not a chance. no. Be careful now. 
Be careful Not now. a chance. He's, Not a chance. He's sending the Zalts around, just making sure that there's nothing else in the map before he actually brings them back down. But it looks like he's got that one more Void Ray in production. One more on the way, and again, the Spore... Uh, I'm sorry, not the Spore Crawlers. The Swarm Host continuing to move forward. Uh, closer and closer. All right, this is going to be his chance. Going in with the Zealots and the Void Jesus Ray. Jesus, maneuver, third, activate. A third Void Ray now coming into the mix. He needs to focus on these Queens and also on the uh, Spore Crawlers. And look at that. The Locust just coming out as the attack is happening, which is not oh, good for no. the Zerg. Now focus firing on that Spore Crawler, but the Void Ray is back off. The Zealots need to get rid of the Spore Crawler right away. This would actually be insane if he can manage to pick off these structures one by one. And we're the, just pulling it. The queens are dead, and there's nothing now that can attack the air. He's gonna win this game, Adam. The maneuver! It's the Jesus maneuver! Weinberg has walked on water! Whoa, whoa, Weinberg, where did I miss this? The Jesus maneuver, he just turned water into wine. I cannot believe that. That was such a perfect timing. The moment those swarm hosts shat out those locusts and they started to go into the base, they had to wait for that, wait for the cooldown before more uh, locusts came out, and that was the perfect time for him to go in with those zealots and void rays. Managed to pick off those queens, Holy the spore crawlers, crap. and then there was nothing to contest those void rays, and he manages to pull out basically yes. an unwinnable uh, scenario. Yes. I mean, there, that was that was it, it had to deal with. Um, Sam making a mistake and Weinberg capital like really capitalizing on that mistake and that's exactly what he did and that was just a beautiful timing attack very very well done for our blue Protoss Weinberg that is beautiful a, that is a big fuck you to swarm hosts that must wow. have felt good Weinberg probably went and like had a really long cold shower after that win uh, because he was probably hyped up to all hell. I, I would be friggin... I, I would have probably danced around the house naked for a few minutes. <laughs> after pulling that victory out. That was awesome. That is exactly what Weinberg needed to do at exactly the time that he needed to do it. That was just really good. Like, holy crap. I mean, he, he only had a couple of structures left here. Of course, he always had the, uh, you know, the original pylons and cannons up top. But that wouldn't have made a difference. If he no, loses no, no, no. all of his stuff, then they, they just have to cross the map and he just GG. He was just extremely patient. And he waited for the right moment. And all the stars aligned. And that was it. That was it. That, oh. uh, that was the <laughs> only way he could win that game. That was it. Very that was well really done. well done. That was very, really, well done. very well done. My hat goes off to you, Mr. Weinberg. Sam, good effort. But just not good enough today. Ladies and gentlemen... Remember we told you earlier in the week to bank that like and favorite? Oh, now is, now is the now time, is, to, now be is the time to use it. Cash in on that. Cash in on that like and that favorite. Hit those buttons. And as always, this has been Nova something. And Maximus Black. We'll see you guys soon. Peace out.